What's up guys, this is Matt with Flagstaff Camera, and today I'm going to teach you how to figure out exactly how big your print should go, and or can go, or I don't know. So, here's the deal. There was an article in one of our old news segments that's up here somewhere, and it basically gives you a formula to figure out how big, how much resolution you need to print an image a certain size, and then how far you have to stand away from that print for your eye to not be able to tell the difference in terms of the fact that it's considered a low resolution print, right? Like you think about looking at a billboard while you're driving by in your car. It doesn't look like it's printed at you know, five pixels per inch, but they're huge and that's exactly what's happening, right? The pixels on those, if you get your nose up in them, are enormous. So I read that article and I was like, okay, this is cool. And then I, I did the math and I was really skeptical. It indicated that I could be making prints at significantly lower PPI than I was used to, right? Because you all grow up, you hear 360 as a recommended PPI, you hear 300, you hear 240. Those are like nice, big, that's a lot of pixels per inch. And what it turns out they're based on is really itty bitty prints. So like your viewing distance on a four by six inch print, right? Which is like this big, is really close to your face to see what's going on. And because the viewing distance is so small, you need a very high resolution, a high number of pixels per inch PPI to be able to resolve the difference. Cause you could, you could tell it's right next to your face. You can see it. So that's where like the 240 comes from. And that's what we sort of use across the board by and large as a printing industry. What we're gonna do today is first a little math and then uh, I will show you that this actually does work and it's kind of surprising what you can get away with. So let's talk about some math. The formula we're gonna use is R, which is the resolution or the PPI you need to print at, equals 3,438 which is a magical number from the article and he explains all of his reasons for that. 3,438 divided by D, where D is the recommended viewing distance. As, so that's as far away from the print as you ought to be uh, based on being able to see the whole print, whatever. Anyway, so R equals 3438 divided by D. D is generally accepted as one and a half to two times the image diagonal. So if I have a 20 by 20 inch square image, which is kind of normal for me to print as like a good size print to put up on a wall, you know, you take, you guys ready to go back to like, what is this, middle school, high school algebra? Uh, you need to calculate the diagonal of that. So you could make a print and then measure it. Or you could do A squared plus B squared equals C squared. <sighs> We're gonna just breeze through this. So 20 squared plus 20 squared, take the square root of that, you get a 20 inch print is gonna be about 28 inches in the diagonal, right? We're rounding. So if I take, say two times that number, so two times 28 is gonna give you like 56, that would be my measurement D in that formula, right? D for recommended viewing distance. So. 3,438 divided by D, right, which we decided was 56, tells me that I can make this print at 61 PPI. Not 300, not 361, 61 pixels per inch, which is like mind blowing to me. And I thought there's no way on earth that is allowed. So I tried it and I want you to come along with me. Let's just, can we go look? Can you just, Let's just go look and, and see, because this is ridiculous. So just follow me and we'll just, because I made a couple prints, wander through monochrome gallery here. We'll go past Moose. Kristen, both, well, one of them's working hard. Okay, here are two 20 inch prints. One of them 
is printed at the recommended, or actually at its native resolution, which at this size is about 300 and something PPI. And one of them is printed at the mathematically recommended 61 PPI, which is way less. So uh, we learned that our recommended viewing distance is 56 inches, I believe. So I'm just gonna stand 56 inches away from these right here. I can't tell the difference. Can you? Come stand right here. All right. One of these is 300 PPI and one of them is 61. Can you tell the difference? Left or right? Put it in the comments. I can't tell. I make prints for a living and standing that far away, can't tell. Alex, can you zoom in? Okay, that's about half viewing distance. Which one is which? There's no way of knowing. Okay, so I'll tell you, I'll tell you. Since we're here and we're friends. 303 PPI, 61. Now, if you get close, if you get photographer distance, if you get six inches away from these things, you can for sure tell. Uh, it's really easy for me to tell in these sort of big areas of continuous tone. This one's got way more grain, texture, and detail than this one. But from the standard viewing distance at 61 PPI, I wouldn't be able to tell you the difference. And I am blown away by that. So, when you're about to write an email to me and you say, how big can I make this print? You can do a couple of things. First, you can figure out how big you'd like to make the print. Say, I need this print to be 60 inches square. And then do the math from the formula that we've included and from the link in the whatever place and figure it out for yourself. Or uh, don't ask that question and just say, make me this print and I'll make it for you. <laughs> so yeah, but astonishing. I can't believe they'll go this big. I can't believe printing this low resolution is actually allowed. And I'm into it. So um, what images do you have you want to print? Let's make it happen. Uh, drop me an email. See ya.